Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Priya from uh, Shankaraya Hospital, Bangalore. My topic of discussion is macular hole. Uh, it's evaluation and management. So, uh, macular hole. Uh, is excuse me, Dr. Priya. Yes, you can just open the video. Oh. Your video. Yeah. Yeah. Start presenting. Uh, macular hole is anatomic discontinuity of neurosensory retina in the center of macula. It was first described by Knapp in 1869 in a post-traumatic macular hole. Uh, the most common type of macular hole is idiopathic macular hole. Uh, it is most common in 6th to 7th decade uh, of life and is commoner in females than male. In high myopes, it is commonly seen. And uh, fellow eye of a patient with macular hole, the incidence being uh, 15 to 20%. And in trauma patients, it is about 5%. Uh, common causes of macular hole includes idiopathic trauma and high myopia. And other ca causes include cystoid macular edema, tractional component of PDR, and it is rarely seen in CNVM patients. Any oblique or anteroposterior traction, any oblique or anteroposterior traction via a persistent vitreofovular attachment or a tangential vitreoretinal traction will lead to macular hole formation. There are various classifications for macular hole. Uh, uh, example, gas classification and IBTS classification, where in gas classification stage 0 includes pre-macular hole, stage 1A includes impending macular hole, stage 1B includes occult macular hole, stage 2 includes small thickness macular hole, where the uh, minimum linear diameter uh, is about uh, less than 400 micrometers. Stage 3 includes medium full thickness macular hole of more than 400 my uh, micrometer diameter diameter with partial PVD and stage 4 which includes large macular holes uh, with complete PVD. IBTS uh, classification stage 0 includes vitromacular adhesion, stage 1 includes vitromacular traction, 2 includes small to medium full thickness macular hole with vitromacular traction, 3 includes medium to large FTMH with uh, uh, VMT and stage 4 includes medium to large full thickness macular hole without VMT. Uh, various investigations uh, done uh, includes Watsky Allen test, where uh, a slit of horizontal or and vertical line light is projected over the center of the macula using a 90 diopter lens. Any break in the continuity of the line, uh, the slit uh, reported by the patient is suggestive of full thickness macular hole. Other tests done are laser aiming beam test where a 50 micron uh, laser beam is projected over the center of the macula and, and, and the surrounding macula. Patient with macular hole will detect, uh, detect the laser beam in the uh, normal retina, retinal tissue and will not be able to detect it when placed in the uh, center of the macula. Other tests include Amsler grid uh, tests uh, which can detect small scotomas and uh, metamorphopsias. Uh, OCT provides high resolution optical section of retina and it is the gold standard test. Uh, it is used in diagnosing, staging, prognosticating and surgery planning and follow up. Uh, various macular hole indices as seen in the photograph uh, can be calculated using OCT. Various prognostic uh, factors include, uh, good prognostic factors include less than six months uh, duration of macular hole. Uh, OCT indices such as smaller minimum linear diameter, small, smaller basal hole diameter, hole form factor of more than 0.9. Uh, poor prognostic factors include presenting visual acuity of less than 6 by 60, more than 400 micrometer size of uh, hole, uh, holes which do not close on first surgery and traumatic holes. So, um, Coming to the management, uh, Kelly and uh, Kelly and Wendell first initiated successful macular hole surgeries, whereby they uh, uh, they uh, used to do vitrectomy and PVD, which was later uh, uh, which was later modified and. Uh, uh, vitrectomy with PVD with island peeling was included, which gave better results and about 58% of uh, success rate. Uh, so our aim is to relieve the anteroposterior fraction by vitrectomy and PVD induction and to relieve the tangential traction by ILM peeling. In this picture, uh, the first picture shows uh, the OCT macular raster image where uh, the uh, here a uh, full thick of a patient uh, patient's left eye showing full thickness macular hole 
where minimum linear diameter uh, is about 794 uh, and uh, this patient underwent vitrectomy surgery with ilm peeling with gas injection um, and these are the post op images at first month and second month uh, which shows complete uh, complete closure of the hole so, uh, here uh, since it was a large macular hole and inverted ilm flap technique was used thank you yeah uh, um, uh dr priya uh, uh, excellent presentation uh, thank you so uh, so which which one uh, which classification uh, should i see if I, uh, i i want to do the surgery i am a retinal surgeon which uh, uh, you told about uh, uh, two two classifications like I, ivts and gas uh, which one uh, would should i use uh, Uh, so we uh, generally use gas classification because we are able to uh, measure the uh, like uh, the diameter linear diameter on oc you can you, you can answer yeah. now you can answer uh, uh, is that is that more important or uh, 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 how it has happened uh, the, the traction and everything is that more important uh, 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 when managing a macular hole and how will you uh, see uh, what percentage of uh, these these cases uh, uh, because uh, uh, the patient uh, see you 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 are an anterior segment surgeon and you are referring the patient for uh, macular hole surgery and they'll they'll be actually asking uh, you uh, questions uh, so the uh, so what, what what did you say is the success rate of uh, a macular hole surgery so it was uh, like uh, uh, initially it was uh, around uh, when they used to do pvd induction only uh, that time no, no, was no 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 sir about uh, maximum macular was like i had read 73% around uh, is success there was a study so it showed 73% success that is closure uh, what percentage of uh, uh, these cases uh, uh, would be getting uh, uh, 66 or 69 vision So you have an anatomical closure, but uh, uh, how do uh, uh, does all these uh, uh, patients who get an anatomical closure get uh, six six or uh, six nine vision? So, uh, so so how do you, how uh, how will you how can I uh, tell the patient? Uh, see, this is uh, uh, this is a prognosis, or or you say guarded prognosis all the cases and uh, take it as as it comes. so guarded visual prognosis because uh anatomical closure is possible but it doesn't mean that a patient will get complete vision okay okay dr priya thank you dr priya a uh, good presentation uh, just okay. wanted to know what are the different types of closure then there is type 1 closure and type 2 closure uh wherein uh, there will be a, a remaining neurosensory de detachment in type 2 and uh, it is absent in type 1 small neurosensory detachment can be present and others are like uh, u v and w uh, okay. closures also okay and uh, this inverted uh, ilm flap you were talking about so is it uh, done in all the cases or in which kind which uh, cases it's indicated only ma'am in uh, large uh, holes or any traumatic holes we can do it because uh, uh, it will uh, close better okay because traumatic holes all the time do you advise surgery um, or in other words do traumatic holes have spontaneous closure yes ma'am traumatic holes so, uh, may have spontaneous closures so you don't have to advise surgery right away mm -hmm. how would yes. you how would you counsel a patient like just to carry forward the what dr shrini asked like while counseling what are the factors you will keep in mind when you counsel for surgery ma'am if it is a small macular hole or a traumatic macular hole generally it will uh, close generally it can close like tight uh, like uh, if it is in the stage 1 uh, macular hole then it may it may close uh, spontaneously in about uh, uh, 30 40% cases and uh, if uh, if the holes are large then we can take up the patient for surgery other than that any other things you have to tell the patient you said the surgery is ilm peeling and inverted flap and and 
and gas yeah, so, injection. Yeah, so do you have to counsel regarding the other things about gas injection, post-operative positioning, etc.? Yes, uh, we can tell that immediate post-op vision, uh, the patient, uh, uh, if gas injection is done, it will take about some time uh, for the patient uh, to get complete uh, visual recovery, like uh, uh, for uh, better so, vision. They have to wait, like uh, after gas injection, uh, it is not uh, possible for the patient to see immediately. So, okay, good, good presentation. Thank you. Yeah, good presentation, Priya. So, uh, what are vital dyes? Which dye do you use here? Sir, uh, we can use uh, Brilliant Blue G dye. Then uh, other dyes uh, which which can be used are Tripan Blue dye, then uh, ICG. But they are generally ICG not is, preferred one is uh, Brilliant Blue G yeah. dye, sir. ICG is most toxic. So what are vital dyes? Uh, they stay in living tissues. So you use <laughs> vital dyes, which is... The other thing, when you have gas in the uh, eye, you tell them you can't fly. Oh, yes, sir. Right? Because you can have yes, high pressures in a CR. Good presentation. Yes. So, what scale and test is very important. Clinically, mm -hmm. that will tell you. So, a break is going to tell you there is a hole. A bend is going to tell you that it is a cyst. Or a needle. Okay? Good. Yes, very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Priya. Thank you, ma'am.